By the end of this video, you will have a clear idea of what Dynamo is and the benefits that you can obtain from it. My name is Luisa Santa Maria, I'm an architect and BIM consultant. Pleased to meet you and welcome to this Bold Brain video and Dynamo series. What is Dynamo and why do we normally say Dynamo in Revit? Dynamo means automatization. It means automating repetitive tasks and its objective is that you, who work in the AAC business, save up time. Now, this is done in multiple ways and across multiple platforms. Dynamo right now is open source, visual programming, and it works alone as well as with Revit or Trivial 3D and other Autodesk platforms. So what can I automate with Dynamo and what are the main benefits? Let's have a look at them. First one is automatization of repetitive tasks. This we will see through many videos of this series. With Dynamo, you can make a long task short, but let me show you an example that we will be seeing right here on this channel. For example, right here, I'm showing you how to do an automatic tag, which means the room tag at this example will get the information of the room where it is stored. Just to get you an example of this first point, automatization of repetitive tasks. Second example. With Dynamo, you can make sure that you can comply with the legislation. How many laws and regulations are there in your country for construction or where construction is concerned? In Spain, there are dozens of documents to fill up even before you even lay the first brick at the building site. Dynamo can make sure that you comply with these regulations by verifying whether they are correctly placed on your model. Let me show you an example as well. Right here in this example that you will see in our YouTube channel, we are changing the pipes material by the diameter of the pipes. This is something which you will have to do if you want to comply with the regulations where MIP is concerned. And right here there is, it has, is an example which will come up later at this YouTube channel for this advantage, which is to comply with the legislation using Dynamo. If you also have to comply with every single point of your legislation and you have problems with it, please subscribe to this channel because you are not alone and you're actually understood. <laughs> Third advantage or benefit, with Dynamo you can create geometrically complex forms. What do I mean with this? I'm, what I mean is that with Revit you are sometimes constricted with Revit and with other Autodesk programs that work with Dynamo, you are sometimes constricted to the straight line. You can draw straight walls, but you can't draw different types of walls, or you can do a family um, generated a component, which is a triangle, but you can't really have it adapted to the form that you actually need. Let, let me show you an example for this so that you may understand what I'm talking about better. So for example, in this YouTube series, I'm going to show you how to do something like this with Dynamo, which is an irregular facade. If you were to draw this manually in Revit, it will take you ages. However, with Dynamo, you can do this, or at least something quite similar with a couple of clicks, so that you can reach complex forms without driving yourself mad. Okay, fourth point. Explore multiple design options. For example, look at this beauty right here. Right here, I just have a curve right here on a wall. And imagine I want to do a, an original design, a lamp or something like that. If I were to draw this by hand, this would take me ages. However, by using Dynamo, I can explore different options just by using a, a slider right here with different lens and see how this will look. In fact, I'm going to do this smaller, but I'm going to introduce more elements and see how easy this is. 
If you have to do this by hand, it will take you ages. If you have arrived at this point in the video and like it this far, please leave below in the comments a rocket emoji. That way I can check out on the progress that you have possibly made. It also helps us tremendously as you are basically telling YouTube, hey, I like what this girl is doing. <laughs> Next step, test performance. With Dynamo, you can check the quality of a Revit model and audit it to ensure that it works smoothly. For example, you can check warning corrections right here. I got a Dynamo where I'm checking them up and I will show that to you in a future video. <laughs> warnings are one of the elements which made your models run slower and with Dynamo, you can check them out. Number five using automatizations and all their possibilities instead of humans. Where is it important? Everywhere. I'm going to show you an example. So for instance, if I were to introduce some information on my model right here, or in any model really, you have a lot of parameters to fill, such as right here I have the door numbers. Now this is a pain an absolute pain in the nose. <laughs> this, this, is all, this is an absolute pain for the, for the brain of an architect or for the brain of an engineer of, or draftsman or woman to use their capacities to do something like this. Just remembering each and every door according to the room. With Dynamo, this will only take like three notes and you will have this renumbered. Huge advantage. And besides, a human may commit mistakes when doing this. A human may look at their phone and skip a door. If you have this automated, the computer won't fail, unless the automatization is done incorrectly, which will be again a human's fault. Next one, next advantage. Number six. Dynamo is used across multiple platforms, so if you can learn it for Revit, you may also use it with Reveal 3D or other platforms such as Dynamo Sandbox, which is running on, their, on its own, Dynamo Revit, 3, CD3D, Alias Design, Formit, Advanced Steel, Robot Structural Analysis, and more coming soon. So by learning just one program, which is Dynamo, you will be able to use it across all of these multiple platforms and I think that's a huge advantage for Autodesk users. The fact number seven, the fact that you can adapt your automatization to the, your specific niche and project. Now, why am I pointing out this one as an example when there are like thousands of plugins and Revit scripts and all that? In fact, an Autodesk exchange app, you have plugins galore, okay? Why am I pointing this out as an example? These ones, these plugins are made for many Autodesk softwares and in fact you have a specific category for Revit and we will also be including in this channel uh, a YouTube list about all these Revit plugins that if, if YouTube allows me to I will leave to you somewhere up there, okay? However, as cool as, this, as cool as genius as these plugins are, they are a one size fit all, which means they are not specifically adapted to your problem and to your specific project. However, by using Dynamo, you will be able to adapt your script to your problem. And that is a huge, huge, huge benefit for architectural and engineering firms. Number eight, the learning curve. The learning curve is a huge advantage where Dynamo is concerned. Why am I telling you this? Because you may find yourself wanting to use, and this I'm going to show you right here, the macro manager, for instance, and to create an application in C Sharp, Visual Basic, or Python, you may have thought of automating your Revit project and actually starting somewhere right here. As you can see, this is a little more complex 
than using Dynamo. Using any programming language takes more time to learn, so I think this is a great advantage when it comes to Dynamo. I'm not saying that it is easy to learn, because obviously everything takes time. However, learning a programming language, is, the learning curve is way more steep than that of Dynamo. The advantage when it comes to compare also Dynamo or Grasshopper. What is the advantage of Dynamo when you compare it to Grasshopper? If you are a Reno user, you may have used Grasshopper before. What's the benefit of Dynamo? That it is uh, a native program which is already included on Autodesk projects, on many Autodesk applications. So for instance, right here, I have it up here. If you want to mix Grasshopper with Revit, you have to use third-party programs which may work great, but they are not compatible, directly compatible with Revit. So here is another point towards Dynamo. Number 10, the Dynamo community. There's a big community of people who are already using Dynamo. So when you get a good understanding of how Dynamo works, you may find the solutions for what you are looking for online. Many of these solutions may be found right here on the Dynamo forum, which I'm showing to you right now. Um, and you can, check, you can check whether your problem has already been solved by someone else. So huge, huge, huge advantage where Dynamo is concerned. So if you want to start your trip to learning Dynamo with us, you may download our Dynamo guide, which I will leave you below on the description section. And of course, you can also subscribe to this channel to keep on watching our Dynamo videos and you may watch the next video here. <laughs> Don't forget to take a look at it. Bye bye.